Hi guys. I would just like to do a quick demonstration about how to use adjustment layers. And adjustment layers are fantastic ways that which we can alter the state of the pixels. And by that I mean typically contrast and brightness and exposure as well as color balance and a number of other cool things. Um, so typically in the past, maybe you have gone through the image adjustment menu, made some sort of change to the state of the object, or so I'm changing the hue, the overall hue of the image. So, okay, that's great. But however, that is a permanent arrangement. That means that if I have saved the file now and I go on with my work, that change has been embedded in the file and I'm pretty much stuck with it. I'm, I sort of can't undo it. So that might not be what we want and that's a destructive edit so i'm going to undo that and reset the file i'm going to suggest that when you're trying to make image adjustments to images um, that you consider using adjustment layers now adjustment layers like many powerful things in photoshop can be found in the bottom of your layers panel and if i was to select an adjustment layer from this area of the screen my adjustment layer icon i can have many of those same settings available down to me here and i can make my change whatever that might be and say okay now the beauty of that is that that is reversible so i can turn that eyeball on and off i can in fact reduce the strength or the opacity of the adjustment layer so i can have a little bit more subtlety in my my piece or in fact, if I don't want it at all, I can click and drag, take that to the bin and I've pretty much reset. That is completely reversible at any time in your file, even if you've saved the file. Those adjustment layers will be saved within the file and you can delete them at any time you like. Ultimate flexibility is what we're after. Now, that adjustment layer I just made there, right there, as you can see on screen, is universal. I have altered all of the pixels in the image. That means the background, the clothes and the skin tones, all those things have universally been applied to the image. Um, maybe that's what you want, but perhaps more often that's not exactly what you want. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete that adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to target parts of the image. <laughs> Uh, and by that, I mean, I'm going to make a selection. And in this case, I'm just going to try to pick out that sky there. So I'm just picking up the sky. And just removing a few little things there that I, that I don't want as part of my selection. I'm just going to run through this. So I've now got the selection that I require. So basically, I've just got the sky here. That will do it. That will do it. So now, if I make the adjustment layer, these changes, and I'm going to go with hue and saturation again, these changes that I make are only going to be applied to the portion that I had selected. So that's a lot more powerful. We're targeting parts of the image. And that's where adjustment layers really come into their own. We can target. A section of the image to receive or to not receive that effect so this is really very powerful so I, as you can see i can turn that on and off and i've removed my adjustment layer if i want to revisit that adjustment layer i can double click into the icon saturate that go back so i'm really it's very very powerful as a, as you can see i can turn that effect on and off and that's really the crux of the matter okay so that is super cool. Um, adjustment layers are wonderful. So just, again, if I wanted to just affect the another part of the image, I'm going to pick this dress out here. So I'm going back to my image area and I'm just going to highlight that portion of the image and that will, whoops, get a little bit of that out there, close enough. Um, now when I make an adjustment layer, I can go with, Maybe I'm going to go with uh, a solid color. And when I do this, a solid color, 
maybe I'm going to pick a different color for her dress. Maybe we'll make it a, a reddish type dress. That looks pretty good. I'm going to say, okay. Now that's made that adjustment. It's applied a solid color to that portion of the uh, dress. Now it obviously looks wrong and false. That is where you will want to change your blending mode. Now blending modes are super powerful in the game. We've got a lesson about this coming up, but blending modes are very important in digital imaging in that they change the way that two layers are displayed upon each other. So wherever you see the word normal, I can jump into there and I happen to know that multiply is gonna look pretty good, but you can experiment with this and you're just running down and seeing what you like. Okay, so typically multiply is gonna work in this scenario. I've done a bit of a rough job on there, I apologize, but in a bit of a hurry. So as you can see, the red is showing over the top of the existing image and that's where uh, we can really make um, adjustment layers work for us. So I'm going to keep going here, but this time I'm going to make some sort of a pattern overlay. Okay, but to do that, I've pretty much got to have a pattern in place. So obviously I would go online, find an image or texture that I would like to use. I've already got one here. I've just popped it into a new file here. Here it is right here in Photoshop. And what I'm going to do while this is visibly selected, I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to define a pattern. That's what you do, edit and define a pattern. And there it is there, you can give that a name. I'm going to say okay to that. And I'm just going to pop back to our guys here. Now I want to apply that pattern in the same way, perhaps over this fella's jacket. So I'm going to Select from my layer, make sure you're picking back from here. If you're not on, if you're on these layers, strange things might happen, but you really want to just ensure that you're back on your content layer. Again, with the quick selection, picking up what you need. I'm trying to pick this guy's jacket up. That's not bad, it's gonna be through there. I think I've got most of it. That looks pretty good. I'm just using my selection, my quick selection tool. Maybe I want his other part, other side of his jacket. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I would like to apply an adjustment layer to this area of the image. So I've targeted, I'm targeting an, an area of the image to apply an adjustment layer to. Now we've already made the pattern. We've copied an image online. We've defined it as pattern, edit and define as a pattern. And now I'm gonna apply the pattern to this, um, this jacket here. So again, we're dropping into adjustment layers. And this time we're gonna go with a pattern, all right? So the pattern is already defined and you'll jump into here. So this is the pattern that we just made. I've got some I've prepared earlier. I've got other different kinds of patterns that I've made, but we'll go with that one there, I don't know so which one we that's the one I just defined. Um, and while you're in here, you can scale the pattern up or down. And so you want to get a little bit more pattern and you can in fact click and drag on the idea to sort of position it a little bit better. Yes, okay, so I can scale it and I can click and drag to sort of arrange it a little bit better. So I'm good with that. And again, like before, you'll probably want to be changing the blending mode to make it just look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to go and change to perhaps multiply seems to work pretty well. A lot of the times multiply, but it's always worth checking through these, seeing, seeing what particular look you're going to get. Blending modes are amazing. So multiply is probably going to work for me again in this purpose. Um, and there we have it. I've got a bit of an issue on here. Look, this is to, these black and white areas are to do with masks. That means whatever's black in this mask is hiding the pattern in this case, and whatever's white is showing. So if you need to repair that, like I've got a little bit of an issue with this part of the jacket here, I can repair that. I can sort of bring that back. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to my mask like so. I'm on my mask. I might need white paint to do this. Just restore that, hopefully. I might need to change to a regular brush. I've got all sorts of crazy brushes going on here. That'll do. 
and I can restore that area of the image and deselect. Um, that's adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are super powerful. So we're going to end up with really spectacular results from this initial image. And we can turn on all of our adjustment layers to get truly amazing and cool effects. Uh, I love adjustment layers. It's so much fun we can do them. Um, we have things like this we can do. So this is an illustration that I have. And just by the use of adjustment layers, I can really make interesting and powerful illustrations or images. Um, that's adjustment layers, super powerful, a lot of fun, uh, and can really bring a piece to life. Um, look, I hope that helps, adjustment layers, and I'll see you in class.